Welcome to RBO, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Coleman first aid kit. I do apologize for the ring light reflection there, but it'll be gone in a second here. It's in a little watertight container, which is pretty dope. It's ideal for camping, fishing, and hunting. Glows in the dark, so I guess this container glows in the dark. It's a 100-piece kit. And again, it's from Coleman, so let's check her out. Got a nice little, yeah, it's got a little gasket in there. So it seals correctly. Okay, starting off, let's see what we get. We got our antiseptic towelettes. Make sure it's still in frame. More antiseptic towelettes. It's a good amount right there. So you get four antiseptic towelettes, gloves, get four sting relief pads. Let's go for the ointments first. We have our antibiotic ointments. I don't know why that was so confusing. There we go. Then we have our sterile gauze pad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's actually... This kit can actually do some stuff because it's got a good amount of gauze pads, that's for sure. Because I have... Oh, it does. Yeah. This is a good kit because it has the butterfly bandages and a good amount of gauze pads so you can actually stop the bleeding and seal yourself up. A lot of kits just have one gauze pad and some butterfly bandages. In reality, you're going to be using a t-shirt after that first gauze pad. So this kid actually thinks, or whoever put this kid together actually thinks. Then you got your little bandages, you got your dot bandages, you got your slit bandages, you got your butterfly bandages. Then you got your larger strip bandages, I want to call them. Closure bandages, or knuckle bandages. I think that's what they're called. Then you got a whole bunch of bigger bandages. Of course, you got your safety pin, so if you need to make yourself something to hold up your arm or maybe get a bandage together that you put together, something with the gauze, or if you added a wrap in here, then you got your medical tape. And then lastly, but not least, you got a little razor blade in there. Always use to cut some out, or if you got like a splinter, you can just slowly cut out the skin, get it out of there. But yeah, that's the kit. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like content like this, go ahead and check out the channel.